3D S'mores Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! So in today's video I'm going to be doing a s'mores nail art design and it's 3D and there's two nails. Generally I only do one nail for a design but I liked the idea of s'mores so much that well, I split it up into two. So the first one there's a little campfire at the very tip of the nail with some flames coming up and then two roasting marshmallows over the flames getting ready to be made into a s'more. And then the second one is a s'more and then it has YUM written underneath it for yum and they're both really cute and I hope you like them. And don't forget to click subscribe to see my future videos as well. I'm going to start by creating the background for both nails. So on my nail tip I'm going to first do an overlay with a dark blue that has a little bit of glitter here and there. Um, if you have a dark blue that doesn't have glitter, that's fine. You can add some, or if you don't want glitter, you can just not worry about it. But the glitter does make it kind of look like there's twinkling stars in the background, so I do like it. It does add a little element that's kind of pretty. Once you have that on there, I'm going to add a layer of clear acrylic. And this is extremely important if there is glitter on the nail, or in the blue. If there isn't glitter, I would still do it anyway, just because clear is the strongest um, strongest color of acrylic. Um, there's no pigments or glitter or anything getting in the way of the polymers interlocking, creating a really strong product. And also, you want to make sure to have a nice apex here, because the 3D art's minimal, so it's not going to add much strength. So now I'm going to be filing the nail, and I'm using a 180 grit file to start with, and that is a pretty coarse file. There are 150s and 125s that are coarser, but it is going to leave scratches, so I'm going to buff those out with my 240 grit padded buffer, making sure it's nice and smooth, and I'm going to remove the dust. And now on the s'more nail, so the one that's got the little 3D um, kawaii s'more, I'm going to start by painting yum down my nail. So I'm going to begin with a U about a third of the way up, paint an M below it. I'm using black paint right now, and I'm making the letters kind of blocky and nice and easy to read. And also they have not super thick, but reasonably thick lines. Because I'm going to now fill in all of those lines with white paint, and I want there to be a thin line of black around every single section of the letter, so I want there to be a black outline, just so that the letters will really pop once I add a gel sealer, which I am doing now. So I'm gonna apply a layer of gel sealer and then cure it so it's nice. It's gonna add a nice smooth surface to do the 3D art. So to make my s'more, I'm gonna start by doing the bottom layer of the graham cracker, so that very, the foundation of the s'more and I'm going to add a make a very wide V shape um, so it's just it's I don't have to worry about going in too far because we're going to keep adding layers so now I'm going to add the next layer which is going to be my chocolate so I'm going to add some brown acrylic and then just sort of fill in and then pull it down so it looks like it's melting over the sides of the graham cracker a little bit and this is a very thin layer it's not very thick here's where it's going to get a little thicker the next layer is the marshmallow layer and so I'm going to add just a a larger bead of white and I'm gonna actually add a second one I like to make I like to put a couple beads together instead of trying to do it with one large one just I feel like I have more control that way and then I'm going to round that out so it's a nice smooth looking fluffy marshmallow and then I'm going to back with my beige I'm going to make the top graham cracker which is going to be a diamond shape instead of a square shape because it's at an angle so you're not gonna have that top view you want it to have sort of a distance appearance to make it look more 3d than it is. So then using, I'm using a pointy tweezers, I'm just going to poke some holes in that top graham cracker once it's turned matte, just to give it some texture. And I'm going to add two eyes and a little smile on the marshmallow section, and I put some matte top coat over that acrylic paint just to protect it. On the other nail, which is going to be the one with the fire, I'm going to paint first my stick, which is just a like a V shape with the line, and then add gel sealer and cure. And now I'm going to be adding my marshmallows. So I'm going to take a pretty small bead of white and place that on one section of the stick and then I'm going to keep pressing it in on the sides until it's the shape that I want and in the place that I want it to be. Once that's pretty much set I'm going to add the second one and then I'm going to repeat the process just pushing it in so that it's got that nice shape that I'm going for and it's kind of puffy looking. So now on a nail form backing I'm going to make the logs on my fire so I'm going to put a piece or a piece a bead of um, brown acrylic I'm actually gonna do two just like I did before I figure I can control it better because you if one is a little bit bigger than the other then you can add a smaller one so on and so forth and I just want to put the nail tip up to it to measure the length of my log so I'm just gonna push in the sides and then I'm gonna add a little dent in the center so I'm just gonna push my brush into the center because that way the two logs are gonna nest together and they're going to sit much better that way and it's not gonna get as thick on the nail so I'm gonna add a second log that's basically identical minus the dent so same length same thickness and then I'm going to attach first the one with the dent onto the nail at an angle 
And as you can see, I'm using my trusty pointy tweezers. So just at a slight angle, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more clear acrylic on there to attach the other log at the other angle to create an X shape for the base of my fire. And then I'm going to add my flames with orange acrylic. So I'm gonna place a bead and then pull it up sort of into a petal shape, just like if you were doing a flower. And then I'm going to just keep adjusting it until I think it's good. And then I'm going to add a flame on either side that is slightly smaller than that first one in the middle. Still using orange. And when you're doing this, you want your acrylic to be fairly wet. You don't want it to be a really stiff, dry bead because um, it's not going to pull very smoothly. It's going to kind of crack and stuff. So I'm going to highlight my flames with some yellow acrylic on the end of each one, just like that. And then I'm going to take and put some clear acrylic at the base of the fire, right where the flames attach to the logs. And then I'm going to grab some mylar flakes that are orange and I'm going to push them in. That one mylar flake that you see that's really big, I eventually removed because it really is just way too large. You want to use the smaller little flaky ones, the ones that are almost sort of more like dust. And then you're going to press them and push them into the clear acrylic, which is sort of a little bit of a process, but it works eventually. Just take some persistence and then you are all set. I hope you like this design and share recreations with me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I would really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!